my name's uh, Kevin Mills. I was um, an advanced care paramedic in Toronto before my injury. And um, in 2009, I was at my sister's wedding in Cuba. And we were all in the ocean and a large, like I was very familiar with the ocean, out swimming and a large wave, rogue wave, picked me up dump, uh, and dumped me head first in the ocean floor. Um, so I hit the ocean floor and I was immediately paralyzed. Um, and I ended up as uh, initially a C4 quadriplegic. Um, Full-time wheelchair user, I was uh, initially told I could only shrug my shoulders and then I've just gone through the whole process of activity-based therapy to get as much back as I can. It's basically a, a type of physiotherapy where you're uh, moving all types of the, the body, but you're active, you're exercising. So we went down to Florida, my wife and I, Heather, and uh, I just got, I did this program for months at a time, and it, I just got so much back that Heather brought Walk It Off back to uh, Ontario and started uh, Walk It Off Spinal Cord Recovery Center. And uh, it's an activity-based therapy center um, where I worked out every day and I got enough function back to start hand cycling. Maybe a year after my injury, I decided I wanted to push a half marathon in my wheelchair. Um, so I entered the Toronto Waterfront Front Marathon I, um, I had e-motion wheels and a free wheel and uh, I went out and I came dead last by a lot. Um, <laughs> I was like heading, it was uh, heading out on the lake shore and I'm heading out and all the runners are coming back cheering me and uh, I was uh, turn around coming back, they're like you're over the time limit, we're gonna have to cut it short. and. Um, the cops and the medics said, we'll keep it up. The gardener closed and you can keep going. So I finished with my wheelchair. Um, then I did a bunch more and then I wanted to get into um, hand cycling, like going further and faster. So I got a lie down racing hand cycle. And then I've done um, 24 half marathons, six fulls. And uh, that was in my racing lie down bike. And then I got this uh, unit that I use, which uh, clips directly to my manual wheelchair and allowed me to be more independent and bike with my son. And that's how I, it kind of happened. I'd always wanted to bike across Canada, especially since my injury. But for me, I was like, it's not going to happen. Like, um, who's going to want to bike with me for eight hours a day, take four months? Like, I can't be by myself, I need someone to give me water, food, empty my urinary bag, like, um, there's so many things, and, um, so I was biking with my friend Nikki, I call her Nikki D, and we were, uh, biking after she was done work, she worked at Walk It Off, and, uh, we kept going further and further, and then one day she's like, Nick, I, I've got something important to ask you, so we were on a ride, and, uh, she was kind of like, Okay, so do you want to bike across Canada with me? And I was just like struck and I honestly almost crashed into her. And we kept biking and I was like, yes, yes, yes. And, um, but then we're like, if we're doing this, like, how can it help other people too? Like, if we're going to do this, I think there's an opportunity. So we started peddling possibilities and offer profit. And, um, our idea was just to like make this trip also a vehicle to, to promote accessibility and help other people. For me, it's life changing. Like, it it affects me in so many ways. It um, mental health, physical health. Like, it makes me happy. It helps with my neuro pain and spasms. It gets me out there and then more functional in my other daily tasks. So it, um, yeah, just, um, and I think the, like, the reason I want to do this trip is I get out there and people can see me and it creates a discussion. Like, um, they, they see someone in a wheelchair having trouble with something and they're like, we need to improve this, we need to do that. And um, it also, anyone especially with people with disabilities i hope see me and then they're like I, I'm, I'm gonna get out there 
like I've had a few people talk to me and like yeah I'm gonna get a bike I'm gonna get out there and I'm like yeah you need to because it changes your life the main team is uh, Nikki and Candace so Nikki's biking with me all the time every day so the whole ride like um, she's doing everything for me so if I have to stop and empty my bag give me water food um, if something happens she's answering calls so um, and then um, but then there's Candace she's my PSW she does like all my personal care and then she's driving this huge RV 37 feet she's never driven it before and she's a pro like I'm so impressed like she's such an amazing person and then she's learned to, to be an RV mechanic a wheelchair mechanic a bike mechanic and um, honestly I couldn't do the trip without the two of them because they're like I'm just pedaling and when we get back there's not a lot I can help with except emails and stuff and uh, yeah they're, this trip would not be possible without them this is my manual wheelchair and I have a docking bar underneath and my bike clips directly to the chair so I'm, uh, I'm a quadriplegic so I'm, um, when you see it, it's a uh, wheel out front, and I'm hand cycling, so I'm using my arms. Um, so I have biceps and shoulders, but I don't have triceps or hand function. Um, so this bike, I've got special hand grips where I like get my hands around it, lock my wrist in, that's how I'm holding. I pull back to brake, and then, um, uh, I'm cranking like this. So, um, when they think about accessibility, they, they need to think about, like they need people with disabilities to input and show like how wide it needs to be. And then there's even stuff like going to campgrounds and we're like, do you have an accessible shower? And I go in and it's got a grab bar and it's like, okay, that's not what we mean. Like, so just like having those facilities and resources to make disabled travel so much easier because if it was easier, more people with disabilities would travel. Um, I just want this story to reach as many people as possible. Um, like it, this trip's for me, but it's also, I really want to help people. And whenever we, t the public response to this trip has been amazing. Like when we tell people about the trip, they seem genuinely happy about it. and. That's what we want to do. We want to. I want to reach people, especially people with disabilities, and like let them know that stuff is possible. And um, if one person with a disability decides to get out and get active, this trip is so worth it. So um, that's what I would like. If everyone could share the story, and uh, yeah, get outside, get active, go for a bike ride.